before we will jump right into the tutorial, I want to make a short introduction. If you need any help of me and my team, then please don't hesitate to contact us. We will help you with any technical problems with your website. Below this video, you will find our contact details. See you soon. Bye. Mm, so cool. Okay, so what's Calypso? Um, you guys might have heard of it. It was released end of last month, so I think about three weeks ago. Um, it's basically the new WordPress.com interface. A lot of, but they, the WordPress.com interface has been there for I think at least a year plus already. The new writer thing. So what is new is the apps, like the new WordPress app and the. I'll, I'll, I'll demo the app later, but it's it's very basic. It's more for people who want to blog than for people who want to set up sites for clients because they can't do the custom stuff on the app itself. So this is what Matt said, like what, what would we build if we were starting from scratch today, knowing all we've learned over the past 13 years of building WordPress. This is his, like what his question on why 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 you gonna build Calypso? Because the WordPress.com, you know, like it's been 13 years since WordPress launched, so the interface is a bit old, and they didn't want to they didn't want to like slowly do it like one by one. So right now you get the it's built from the ground up as a single JavaScript application that relies on the WordPress.com REST API, which basically means that. On your server, you have WordPress, and it connects to WordPress.com. And then this application connects to WordPress.com and helps manage your server, like if you're running the normal WordPress on your own server from there. Because your, your, your server probably doesn't have the REST API yet. Like it's only, it's, some parts of it are in 4.4, which you guys should update to. And there's, more of it in 4.5, but ultimately I have a feeling like the, the app will let you bypass WordPress.com, but the app is a, it's an automatic thing. So automatic and WordPress, the WordPress project are actually two different things. Some people like to get it confused because it, it's, uh, it's, it's very confusing names. Uh, but ultimately someone could fork the project because it's open source and make a direct admin interface into like your own, your own website. So it's very good for clients right now. Like you can actually explore the, the code. It's all on GitHub. Uh, I can show you the link later. So you can just, like GitHub has this thing called forking, which means you create your own version of it, and then you can edit it, and then um, ship it to your clients. Uh, I mean, if you are a client-like person. But if you're just a blogger, you can just connect to WordPress.com, and you don't have to white label it for yourself. Okay. Uh, so this is the REST API. Um, those of you who attended the talk two months ago, you would, might have seen the like this video by Jack Lennox, uh, the, the the Picard team, and and the fact that he used WordPress as a way to present. Like all his slides were on actually on WordPress itself, and then he just he wrote them in WordPress, and then they came out as um, presentation slides. I wish I could do that. I really should look into it. Quite cool. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if you want to learn more about the recipe pie, you can go to this video. The link is, uh, can't see the link at the bottom. But if you go to engineers.sg, they record the videos of most of the meetups in Singapore. Shameless plug. So yeah, uh, what's next? Okay, so these are the, what's new about the WordPress thing. Like, ultimately, we probably will see them slowly go into the, the actual WordPress like installation itself. Right now, it's only the app itself. Cause, so uh, basically, let's go one by one. It's it's faster. Like you don't have to reload the page. So left side is the old WordPress one. New one is the new the new thing. So, uh, the new Calypso interface. So you it, it it feels more like an app itself than a web thing. So you don't have to reload. You just click, and then only the comp the little the small little part in the like that you want to change reloads instead of the whole website. 
Um, the editor is cleaner, more modern. I am not very sure if I like it. I heard a lot of people don't like it as well, but um, they're, they're just trying something new. Uh, they, there is, there's always the option to still use your old WP admin. Uh, but you know, you could, you could use this. You could use the new interface. It's probably easier for writing because it's cleaner, less cluttered. Probably can think better like that. Uh, real time updating, so you don't have to reload every time you want to see something updated. Like your page would just reload. Multi device, it feels more native, so it looks more like a proper iPhone app as well. Like the all the various apps, and then you you can manage everything from one interface and read. You can read other WordPress sites as well. Like they they have reader around for like a few years. I think they 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 just integrated it so that WordPress.com. This one probably won't won't go into like the proper project itself because it's a more WordPress.com thing, and you have to connect the Jetpack in order to um, read on the reader. I think so. Third party apps, so you can do stuff on the front end as well. Apparently. I am not sure. I don't think anyone has shipped something about it yet. But instead of just backend plugins, you can probably do like fancy stuff on the front end because everything will be like API based in the future. And then behind the scenes, um, well, this is mostly developer stuff. You get a lot of um, JavaScript. Like the whole front end app is written in JavaScript, so you get to port it easily, like from desktop to mobile and so on and so forth. Um, for developers, everything's on GitHub now. Like WordPress uses Track, which is a very old and not very friendly system. But now if you have a bug, you just go to GitHub, which has a very pretty interface, and then you can report your bugs there. Um, and the rest are like developer stuff. It's mostly like better practices and all that. Um, code reviews through pull requests, so you know you. It should ship better code. Like the the code should actually function better. It's a developer thing. Uh, and let's do the demo, because I am done. Very fast. What just happened? Anyway, it's very simple. So this is Calypso. Like it's a WordPress app, nothing much. This is my WordPress blog. Uh, you get a plan. You get to choose blog posts. So it's very fast. Portfolio still doesn't work. Like it loads, loads in your browser. Like if you want to manage photos, it's still not complete. You get to edit pages. So about page. It, it's just faster, I guess. Themes as well. You can see everything's in the app itself. You get to choose themes. But if you customize it, still loads. Like the WordPress thing. Like not, not everything is very still needs a lot of work. But it's good that they shipped it early so people can just act as beta testers for you. Um, it's pretty much like everything in the WordPress interface. So and then if you want to access the old WordPress admin, you can do so. And then there's the new reader interface, which is basically like, um, it's like a following, it's like a Facebook feed. Uh, it's been around for some time. I think they, they were more looking towards like LiveJournal and all that, where you can follow people and then read everything from one page than Facebook itself. Like it was around for a very long time. Uh, you can discover stuff as well. It's it's basically a very nice app. Um, yeah, pretty much it. So, how do you get this? Um, you can use this right now if you have WordPress.com. If you have a WordPress.com site, if not, you can install Jetpack and manage your sites from there. And well, I think that's about it. The app is available in the Mac App Store. I, no, I think you download it. Yeah, uh, you download the app. Um, the 
mobile, the iOS and Android apps are the same thing. You just download and install them, and then you, you get this nice little interface. And I think, yeah, pretty much that's it. So, anyone have any quick questions about the thing which I might be able to answer? Although I didn't do any of the work on this, I'm just sharing the news. No? Okay. John? Okay. I'm going to set up my laptop. I hope you liked the tutorial and if you have any problems with this, you can contact me and my team below this video. So check the links below. See you soon.